सर्वेन्द्रियं करवाये दशिनावदीतमस्तु आविद्युषारहे ओम शांति 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 The sound you can adjust a little. Are you clearly hearing that ting ting? There is some noise coming. Okay, you can hear clearly. Okay. Little bit of noise. Nice. Yeah, nice. So now please uh, read those uh, four verses. अष्टक्रोवाच न ते संगोस्ति के उदेति भवतो विश्वम् वारिधे रिवभुद्भुदः इति ज्ञात्वेकमात्मानम् एवमेवलयम् प्रजयम् प्रत्यक्षमपि अवस्तुत्वाते विश्वम् नास्त्यमले त्वयि रज्जु सर्पयि भव्यक्तम् एवम् एवलयम् ब्रजे समदुःखसुखपूर्णे आशा नैराशयो समः समजीवितमुत्युषन्ने एवम् एवलयम् ब्रजे समदुःखसुखपूर्णे आशा नैराशयो समः समजीवितमुत्युषन्ने एवम् एवलयम् ब्रजे So, this is the, what shall I say, uh, as we have been seeing, as we have been sharing, the most uh, amazing descriptions, revelations, sharing of this knowledge about one's own self. By the time, as you have been listening to these things, I hope you are also going back seeing it yourself. See, there is a difference between being familiar with a thought, familiar with an idea, and being with yourself. Please understand, it's like a child. Child is very excited about the colors. The child is very excited about the colors. The child doesn't understand the rose, but the color. The child doesn't understand the sunrise, sunset, or the flowers, trees, but excited. Everything is so nice. Child is excited. And that excitement also fades away when those things are not there anymore. A grown-up can be very excited about the flowery ideas. Unconsciously, you can be sitting down there as an I and individuality instead of being the truth, trying to understand the truth. Last class, I made it very, very clearly to you. Ask yourself, are you being the truth or you are trying to understand the truth? It's a very, very simple question because as I told you while going with the classes, when you go to physics classes, you understand physics, you don't, be, you, do not, you don't be physics. When you go to the mathematics, history, geography, whatever classes, you go there to understand that particular subject. You don't become, you, you are not going there to be the subject. Please understand, 
Whereas when you come to self-knowledge, here you are not coming to understand the self-knowledge. You are going to be the self, that is the knowledge. It's so beautiful. You cannot... It is very subtle and simple. Very subtle because it is yourself and you are trying to understand. It is simple because you don't have to do anything about it. You appreciate. You don't have to do anything about it. It is just there. Very simple, very, very subtle. Very simple. Unconsciously, the individuality sets in, which has been there. It's an amazing statement. Yesterday, I was writing something. It's a very beautiful idea came up. We never know, we never know when the I thought came up. As a child, listen, as a child, as we are growing up, can you ever say, can you ever remember when this I thought came up? You can never say that. But when you understand, you know it has disappeared. That you can very clearly see. Whether it is there or not. Why? Because that which was persecuting you, ah, come, yeah. just think of it. That which was persecuting you, and that which is no more persecuting you. Shall I say, this is all wrong statements. The moment you start speaking, it is stupid. That, I can't say that which was persecuting you. Because of that, I thought that itself is persecution. The I thought itself is persecution. And when you have no persecution, you have no sense of pain, no sense of suffering, no sense of anything, no sense of fear, anxiety, anything, means you are not there. The arrival of the ego, the ahankar, nobody knows. It's very amazing. The more and more you observe, please, do not unnecessarily get lost in the perceptions, descriptions, words, books, thoughts, about the subject itself, not to talk about other subjects. Just be and think for yourself. Just think for yourself. See these things clearly. When as a child, when you, when you are born, did you have a name? Did you have any idea who was your father, who was your mother? That there is a father, there is a mother. Did you have an idea that there is a creation? Did you have an idea that there is a God or some such stuff? Did you have an idea about ignorance, knowledge? Well, the fact is you existed, right or wrong. Just see. The fact is you, you existed. You are. As what? Not yet come. Neither it has come that I am consciousness. That also has not come. That is agrahana. Total ignorance is bliss. Neither I know myself, nor I know anything else. That's your childhood. Did you know you are a husband, wife, father, mother, son, daughter, friend, follower of this religion, that religion, believer, non-believer, vice, virtue, morality, immorality, good, bad, What's your name? What was your name? Before you were born, and the, the moment, the, the day you were born, what was your name? A name was not there, but you were there. And that is what you are continuing to be. Lost in the name. Please see. It is so important to be, that being yourself, to be conscious, is very, very, that is the ultimate thing, just being yourself. Nobody takes away what you have, but who you are is more important. I have told you again and again, 
long before I say my, first it must be I. Unless I am there, there is no question of my. Unless you are, you cannot have. To be, you don't have to have anything, but to have, you must be. Because who is possessing? You must be there to have a name. You must be there to possess a piece of land. You must be there to possess this physical body. This body doesn't feel possessed. Neither the creation feels possessed. You must be there to possess, to have a thought. To be, neither a thought is required, nor a body is required, nor the creation is required. So that was always existing, always existing. Ajo Nitya Sashutayam Purana Nahanyate Hanyamane Sarire. How beautiful. Here Arjuna, Bhagavan Krishna says, Ajo Nitya Sashutayam Purana, I am Atma, the self that you are, Ajah, unborn, Nitya, eternal, no death. Shashwata, Shwa, Tishtari, tumor also is existing, meaning is one thing which is tumor existing. In the, in the shopkeeper's philosophy, today credit, tomorrow, uh, to, to, sorry, to, 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 cash, today cash, again the ting ting is coming. Today cash, tomorrow credit. That is because tomorrow never comes. There is nothing only tomorrow. The today cash, tomorrow credit, today cash, tomorrow credit. Nice, thanks. Today cash, tomorrow credit, no problem. The tomorrow never comes. Whereas this one, existing tomorrow, for Swami, there is no tomorrow. There is no today either. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. You can be beaten if you repeat the words. If you are it, nobody can beat you. And the first one to beat, listen carefully, the first one you must beat in life is your own intellect. The first one who questions you, the first one who confuses you most, the first one who can challenge you most is your own belief or disbelief. Your own little intellect. You can have a win over somebody sometimes, but you cannot win over your own mind until you are aware of yourself. It is so very important. Because this is so, so subtle, again and again I say, please observe, be, that's very, very important. Because when you give a statement also, oh, listen carefully. Suppose somebody says, oh, I, I understand these things clearly. What it means is, not what you understand, I understand is very important. Unconsciously, the I takes the credit, I understand. What? What you understand is not important. I understand, you see, I, I understand. Hey, here you are not to understand. Here you are to be. It takes away your credit and discredit. Because if you understand, you will be affected when you don't understand. It's so subtle, so subtle to... The greatest challenge comes from you. You don't have to defeat anybody. You don't have to dismiss anybody. Have you watched your name? Have you been the nameless? Have you existed without a name? Can you exist without a name? Can you exist without a description? This is what. And how long shall I take? It's the chiefy. It comes just like that. There was a nice interesting the story one point when the mullah was one day going to the market. When he was going to the market, he had taken freshly plucked angur, angur mother, grapes. Freshly plucked grapes, he was taking one cart, little cart load and going to the market. The children all started coming. Mullah, can you have, can you have, can you have? So he gave them, you know, a little handful, then he take them. 
Then all the children complaining. You are very miserly. What is this little, little, little? You know? He said, I am not miserly. Children, like children, you are being silly. Why? He said, look, the whole cart tastes the same thing. Whether you taste one or two, the whole cart is same. So are you asking to eat the whole cart? Or just one or two? Just to see how it is. You are silly, you understand? Children, though not understanding, but they understand. Yeah, they are being greedy. Because the whole cart is same thing. How many books you must read? How many words must you listen? Oh, Swamiji, you want to excuse yourself not to teach, right? How many times you want to listen to the book? How many times you want to know? I am not talking that. I don't teach you. I never teach no word. So, double negative, I teach everybody, right? No. I do not teach. Listen carefully. Nor you listen. What is most important is, have you worked on one thought? Enough. All thoughts mean same thing. This desperation to pick up more words, more thoughts, more names, more things, do it out of sheer pleasure. Sheer fulfillment. Why? I have to listen so many things, why not this also? But by chance it is not there, it doesn't make any difference because who you are is independent of the description. Are you getting that? So what thought it is, what book it is, doesn't matter. Are you able to do it? Or you are continuously needing the help of a book, help of a teacher, help of somebody. So, the moment you take the help of a book, you shall hate any other book which doesn't help you. The moment you take the help of a person, you will hate every other person who doesn't facilitate it. That is because you think somebody is facilitating your knowledge, somebody is giving you this knowledge. So you shall hate people who are disturbing you. You don't understand, they are disturbing. You are disturbed. Just like when you say, I understand, you take the credit. I is very important than what you understand. So, I don't understand that man. That, that fellow is confusing. Really? When you say, I don't understand, is that person confusing? Are you the first one? No. That is what the history of learning and teaching is. Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan says what Krishna, this morning I was listening to third chapter also. That when I listened to that line, suddenly one thought came. Arjuna asked, no. Third chapter, first is Jaya si chet karmanaste mata buddhir janardana tatkim karmani gore ma myojaya si gesava. Next one. Vyami srene iva vakyena buddhir moha siva me. See how, what is he talking? O oh Lord, you say knowledge is also good. What is that? Action also. Jnana also is okay. Sankhya also is okay. Karma also is okay. Vyamishri Neva Vakyana Buddhi Mohayasi. Mohayasi. You are deluding my mind by giving me confusing statement. Very true. Krishna must be a confused for confusing me. This is the tradition of the ignorance. This is Andha Parampara. Tradition of the ignorance. Where the student or the ignorant person will never take the responsibility. Always the ignorant person will pass on the responsibility. And the teacher, the wise person will always take the responsibility. Why? Because what can, if the other boy says he doesn't understand, he's confused. Okay, I shall try to make it understand. He's a fool, what can I say? But you cannot tell him he's stupid. This is the tradition. Human tradition. Not many people can take the responsibility. Never. Until you are aware of yourself. It's so difficult. So if you depend on a book, you shall hate other books. That is why such type of religious people, they create a huge divide between religion and secular. As they're listening to this bird, see that, how nice. Yeah. 
It's a beautiful bird. The cuckoo and this, this go on singing all the time. Beautiful bird. Suppose only this is, I hear the crow, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, crow also is beautiful. So you don't like crow? So that means crow will disappear, huh? There is place for everybody in this universe. When shall you accept it? When there is a place for every thought in your life. You understand? Micro picture must be clear. Then only macro picture will be clear. When you cannot understand, you, you cannot accept your own mind, you cannot accept the whole world. You cannot. Because there are fear, anxiety. Last evening somebody phoned me up. A person who is suffering from a real terrible terminal disease. Almost terminal. He says, Swamiji, I am very much disturbed. I said, look, you are telling me that you are disturbed for the last three years. I know you for a long time. For the last two, three years I have been telling. You have been telling me. But are you doing anything about it? Think. Why do you feel disturbed? That is because as long as in your heart of heart you know you are inconveniencing people that long, you cannot be peaceful. You have promised something you did not do. You borrowed money, you never returned. You are supposed to be grateful to your father or mother, you never expressed your gratitude. You wanted to be grateful to your friends, you never did that. So when these remorses, these things are going on in your head, you are not very comfortable with yourself. You are absolutely not comfortable with yourself. How are you going to have peace? But suppose, whatever you consider that, oh, I should not cheat that fellow. Give it. You take your thing and go. Father, I made a mistake for you against you. Something I did. Sorry. Mommy, you have been so nice. Sorry. Everybody is wonderful. Suddenly, you will be at peace. Think for yourself. As long as you are carrying anger, hatred, jealousy inside you, that long you are the first victim of your anger, first victim of your hatred, first victim of your jealousy, first victim of every emotion. Are you getting that point, please? But the moment you accept, because of my action, nobody is hurt, nobody is affected. I didn't cheat anymore. I could not help, but I did not create any problem. Appa, you shall be so happy with yourself. Acceptance. That is why your thoughts have you accepted. How many times you have seen people complaining? Swami, this fellow, you cannot rely on him. You know? This fellow cannot rely on him. He tells something, but he'll never do. He'll promise, he'll never deliver. How many people tell about others? Tell me. You yourself might have told about many people like that. How many people do that? Always. This is what I've but never delivers. Right. Ask yourself, how many times you have taken a resolve and how many times you have not fulfilled it? From today, I will never be angry. Next day, there's 24 hours I'm later on. 24 minutes after you explode like in a volcano. How? How? From today I shall never talk against anybody. That is life. Conversation means others. Think. Conversation means about others. Conversation means pointing somebody's mistake. This is conversation. Why is it so happening? Because in your mind, you are always thinking about others. What is your time to be yourself? Are you being yourself? You don't have to remove a thought. You don't have to invoke a thought. That is what this question comes. Sanghata vilayamur kurvan evam eva layam braja. Nate sangosti ke naapi. He suddha, suddha tuam, tam suddha. You are absolutely pure, unadulterated, unmixed, ever existing as you are. 
त्यक्तुम किम इच्छा सी व्हाट आर यू ट्राइंग टू गिव अप ओह यू मस्ट गिव अप एंगर हेटरेड जेलसी व्हेन डिड यू हैव इट यू अंडरस्टैंड द पावर लिसन केयरफुली लिसन वेरी केयरफुली जस्ट बीइंग योर सेल्फ यू कैन टेक द स्टेटमेंट how can i give up hunger anger hatred jealousy it is never there suppose suddenly there is a smile in your head or in your face or something yeah that is right anger is happy i thought this is yes is when did i have to give it up why are you thinking the language you understand it is very very tricky it's very tricky what is there to give up fine then what is there to express and find satisfaction with your anger you are expressing with such for satisfaction your hatred your jealousy your fear your anxiety you cannot have that functional emotions not emotions in which you are embroiled where you are deeply involved overwhelmed by those emotions what is the taste of it let us say you are enjoying this beautiful flower wow it's so nice ah, wonderful color taste fragrance wow so let's say you are enjoying it if somebody snatches it you will go with it like a child Have you tried to take away a balloon from child? It'll go along with the balloon, like an animal. Have you seen these sweets? I have seen as children, as childhood in a village, there is no glass doors and windows and air conditioning. None of that way. Sweets kept there, all kept in open. So there will be the sweet meat fellows will be sitting, and a hundred of ants also, the black ants, big ones, black ones. They are also crawling all over, you know, all over. And sometimes you have to take the ant out. Ah. Uh-huh. If the back will go, front will stay. The mouth part will be staying in the sweet. The back part will be it will remove, but the front will not come. Where he is cutting? When children are like that, children are playing with something. Try to take it away. He will go along with the book, along with the toy, crying and running after you. Take it away and go away. He will crying and run after you. Adults do the same thing. when somebody takes you away time snatches something somewhere happens it is gone you are miserable <laughs> that means what you are cold you are taken if the if the oh, beautiful example if the aunt is not mm, biting the sweet when the aunt the sweet is taken aunt goes here this way but if it's holding on to it mm, half of it will go so you give a part of you when something goes away a part of you it goes away that is how emptiness comes in life husband gone empty wife gone empty children gone empty job gone empty money gone empty emptiness comes in why because if something was filling it up now in the absence of it it is you are feeling empty then you will be insecure you will be angry intolerant please tum se dosh you are absolutely pure are you the only one pure everybody else also that point. same consciousness there is nothing other than it sanghat vilayam kurvanna eva meva lahat deha mana prana sanghat the physical body sense organs mind their assemblies sanghat is a beautiful word in, in modern day language it is assemblies it is assemblies assembly line na when you go today to motor car automobile factory you know that assembly line any the assembly line means what that uh, the one place the tire is made another place the hub is made another place that is made then to to to, to everybody comes up phew, car comes up of course <laughs> Yeah, assembly line. Everything is there. All come together. 
So the car is not an object. Because there is nothing called a car. It is assemblage of what? Yes, the tires, the tubes, the uh, uh, steering wheel, all the different parts together. So somebody can take the tire out, somebody can take the uh, steering wheel, somebody takes the engine, somebody takes the body, suddenly car disappears. Well, what is car? Car is a concept. Let your hands go, legs go, eyes go, brain go, things go, you are not there. So where are you? Assemblies. Your mind is a pure assemblies. Body assembly you never saw. Did we see? Uh, space, air, fire, water are coming together and then you are coming. We never saw the assemblies. But mind assembly, it has happened and you can see it and you are doing it every day. Thoughts are coming in and you are using it. Sangada. In what? Who is doing it? In what? Long before these thoughts start coming, first you are there. So Sanghata Vilayam Guruvanna, this assembly is assembly line, these are all assembly line. When you are writing a poem, when you are writing an article, you are planning some mischief, what is happening? Assembly line. Thoughts are there, coming up. Different people, different assemblies. Assemblies. You are suffering. Why? Lost in the assemblies. Sangatam vilayam kurvanni evam evalayam raja Let them be there in their own place. Unless you drag a thought a thought doesn't haunt you. Please work on it. That is why I told you sit down for a long time if you choose to, if you find it difficult. Let the thought come. Go. You have not brought it, you don't have to push it. Just be. Be what? Be yourself. Not observing your thought, there's another headache. Do you appreciate? Observing your thought is an engagement. That's not effortlessness. Are you getting that point? Meditation cannot be an active engagement. Engagement with thought, there is no activity. Meditation is not an activity. Space is not an activity. Activity happens in space. Meditation is not an activity. It happens in space. But when you are saying observe, observe means what? You are invoking an observer. Are you understanding? How subtle it is. Only when you stay for a long time, observe, you know, observe means what? When I say observe now, be familiar with the whole inner landscape. You'll discover, you'll know it. True. What is that to observe? You just be. The thoughts appear to disappear. You don't have to invoke say thought unless you choose. That power you can get, you can handle that, you can have that power when you understand about yourself very clearly. So just being yourself, layam praja, laya, laya, leenam bhavati, where nothing else should be. And once you are like that, thereafter, in you, what thought comes, what thought goes, what is happening to the body, what is happening to the world will not touch you. But to function, to live in the world, you are alive, physical body is there to take and care, to take care of you. Don't neglect your world. Don't neglect the world. Please understand. 
दैट इज भाई कृष्णा सो ब्यूटिफुल सीज पार्थ नास्ती में कर्तव्य त्रिशुलोकेशु किंचन हे पार्थ आई हैव नथिंग टू डू इन दिस यूनिवर्स त्रिशुलोकेशु पास्ट प्रेजेंट फ्यूचर वेकिंग ड्रीम डीप स्लीप द होल माइक्रोकॉस्मिक यूनिवर्स आई हैव नथिंग टू गेन नथिंग टू लूज कर्तव्य नास्ति कर्तुम योग्य बाय डूइंग समथिंग आई बी हैप्पीयर मोर फुलफिल्ड नो माय एग्जिस्टेंस इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इट नास्ति कर्तव्य वर्तय वज कर्म बट येट आई कंटिन्यूअसली एक्ट ऑन इन लाइफ भाई शरीर यात्रा आप चले ने प्रसिद्धि द कर्म हे अर्जुन आई विल पर दी द वेरी सस्टेनेंस ऑफ द बॉडी इज इंपॉसिबल विदाउट योर एक्टिविटी no that i am always i don't do anything other people feed me oh that is true some people carry it to the extremes i don't i am not a agarta i am agarta then be the bhokta i don't do anything so i don't want to lift my hand also then abhokta also don't need it don't cheat yourself Sustenance of the body is impossible. Not only that, it will create a bad precedent. When people look at to me, what shall they say? Yad yad aajar di sast hatat tadavi to roja. Krishna, wise person, God doesn't work. If they won't understand, his fulfil is not working. They shall take the opposite. Is not working. Their worry is going to be. What a headache! Some people. So stubborn, they go to any extent to destroy themselves and to destroy others. Very simple, very interesting. Uh, you know, this is very mula one day. There was you know so many things to be done in the house. So the mula told um, that you know that and so many things to be done and one most important thing in that little household is feeding the donkey. See, you are laughing because you don't have a donkey, but you have the car to put the petrol. No, it's a very important activity. How much you can do? Anyway, so feeding the donkey. So Mula said, "Lady, you do it." He said, "I have so many things to. I can do it." So both had a heavy argument. Naturally, the husband and wife they don't argue. No, Swami, so how will that? There should be no argument. If your husband and wife get ready for. First world war, second world war, third world war, until your last moment of your life, world war. That will be there. Are you right? Discussion has to be there. If it is not there, how are we? Two plastic dolls living or what? Nonsense. That discussion is there. As long as you don't kill each other, that's all. Anyway, so both had a very big fight, and then the person says, "Okay, I'm not going to." The mula says, "Okay, you are not. I am also not going to talk. Whoever talks, he shall feed the donkey. Whoever talks first, he shall feed the donkey." Then mula sat went to the corner, sulky, never did anything. Mula's wife can't just sit down there look at her. She has good friends in the village, so she goes back and started talking to her friends. As long as he is not talking in front of the mula, mula can catch, no. So she went back and uh, that machine, talking machine started working with the neighbors. Then mula's wife is not mula. Mula's wife, bad poor thing, I am not there cooking the poor thing, he is starving. So what he did, he she sent some soup from the neighbor's house and told the boy, go and give it to uncle and come back. By the time what has happened? One thief has come, and he is taking everything. But Mula is not supposed to talk. His wife comes, his wife comes back, and he says, "Talking to thief means he has to feed the donkey." No, <laughs> so you know he did not say anything. Mula did not say anything to the donkey, the thief. The thief, when he saw that, he said, "Must be insane." So Mula had a cap on his head. He took the cap also and went. <laughs> but still, the Mula did not say anything. So he went away. When the boy came. The mula excitedly pointing it out, <laughs> but he won't talk. But one thing he did frequently say, meaning his heart is gone. 
hat is gone. This boy doesn't understand anything. He doesn't know the background, nothing. He didn't understand anything. But because the mullah is always putting the hand on the head, so he thought what he has brought should be poured on his head. <laughs> <laughs> so the poor child poured the hot soup on his head and ran away. Because mullah, but cannot talk, he ran away. Then he went and showed that this has happened. Why? Well, uncle is not talking anything, he's showing something this way, that way, and he thinks like that. And he went on telling that on his head, so I poured that thing on his head and I came. How long Mullah's wife can take that? And she came back and he said, What is happening? She, because he had told him, asked what is happening, then Mullah opened up. Thief came and he said, all that, all that, all that. Then he said, And why didn't you tell anything? He said, Look. Only for you, all these things happen. Now you go and feed the donkey. Because first, first time she told her what had happened, so if she, she talked first. Some people are stubborn like that, stupid. They take a stand, it doesn't matter. It happens in pure ignorance. Why? Because I have taken a stand, that's a I. This is known as the side. It is like that beautiful example of a ship. A million ton ocean liner floats on one side. It sinks in the ocean. The coconut, small one, floats on all sides, never sinks. The mighty ocean cannot drown it as it floats on all sides. Wisdom makes you a man from all sides. A man of all seasons, meaning you are not stuck on a rope. You are not bounded by an identity. You are not bounded by a particular thought, bounded by a particular idea. You are yourself, then you use those ideas. Which one, when, how to be used. Because there is no such thing in this world which is absolutely right, absolutely wrong. न पुण्यम न पापम न सौख्यम न दुखम न मंत्रो न तीर्थम न वेदा न यज्ञा न पुण्यम न पापम दर इज न पुण्यम न पापम न वाइस न वर्चु न सौख्यम न दुखम न सुख न दुख इट कम एगेन इमीडिएट इट कम न मंत्रो न तीर्थ न वेदा न यज्ञ मीनिंग वर्ड Yourself. You can't say there is no Papa Punya, but go on killing people, wonderful. No Sakyam Dukham, but Sukha is very happy, Dukham should not come. <laughs> Don't play game. If you resist, if you enjoy Sukham, you shall be Dukhi. Don't worry. Because if you are there to enjoy, you will be there to. Suffer. If you take it as it is, the other things also fine. Sukam, wonderful. Dukam, excellent. Adam Baba. I'm very happy and everything happens nice. Very miserable and everything. What is so great? That's what everybody does. You know? <laughs> That's what everybody does. Why did you not commit a theft? Never got a chance. Never got a chance. You have given a little chance, you will cipher off millions of rupees, millions of dollars. Nobody sees. Therefore, honest. The village person takes a cucumber. One pumpkin, and village people will put black and white here and there as a pumpkin thief. And he will be branded for the rest of his life as a pumpkin thief. Think of it. Please, it is not to brand somebody, condemn somebody, but looking at yourself, lion brother. Okay, we have seen this. Go to the third verse, which is well next one. Udeti bhavati vishwam. 
the whole universe everything is rising in you like in the ocean the bubbles in the ocean of consciousness bubbles of creation rising iti gantwa having known this ekam atmanam there is only one water in and through everything layam raja what is rising what is setting it doesn't matter who listen who takes the cognizance of the rising and setting does the ocean rises and does the ocean feel rising does the ocean feel setting the waves feel rising waves feel setting the fellow is floating there ah big wave small wave quiet ocean the judgment of the individual in the ocean ocean itself has no judgment in the ocean of consciousness waves of creation rising and falling away the game goes on but the individual there why it is rising it should not rise it should not fall it's not good for me it's not good for all of you see that see that. then you shall have the strength to face everything layam breath first everything dissolve everything resolving is what take that point everything resolving what oh drishya vilayam huh dissolve the creation dissolve the my thoughts dissolve the my sensations dissolve the sensations negate it dismiss it dissolve it as long as the dissolver the i is there don't worry everything will come can you dissolve the simplest thing your name your identity in a sense even that also doesn't need a resolution you recognizing yourself you fill up everything with yourself consciousness alone call it god call it truth call it ishwara call it any way you like pratyaksham api avastutva vishwam nasti amalayatvai he how nicely the ashtavagra goes on telling that because there is a possibility because when the child when the child is telling when the you know the suppose the person is talking about uh, whatever the last verses you know whatever he was talking about that there is nothing in this creation what is there to give up and all that stuff you know that doesn't nothing affects me when he say that by chance the fellow will be misunderstanding the teacher takes extreme care extreme care of what that the person should misunderstand how do you know you understand not looking at other people's misunderstanding looking at your understanding that is why if your focus is on other people's behavior you shall never change the focus is how he is looking how she is doing at what is saying what is what is studying is not her each one you take responsibility for yourself who lives your life friends who lives your life can somebody else live your life so don't try to make somebody to live your life there are some control freaks control freaks who are the control freaks they want to control everybody what you should eat what you should not eat what you should do what you should not do that's fine as a child to grow up but even when a child growing up listen carefully the beauty of this tradition even when the child is growing up yes you tell them what it is but at another time when the child is grown up behave a grown up and tell him all that i told you is wonderful but has its limitation you better understand yourself these relative you know small things good and bad right and wrong don't tell him this is the ultimate that is why when you are upbringing with a religious orthodoxy with a very solid guilt about what, what is this what is not this in all that that ideas 
you can never be out of it. Because you are already heavily set that this is right. Nothing can be right when you are wrong. Listen carefully. The, if the I is a lie, individuality, listen carefully. If the I is a lie, if individuality is a lie, whatever the individuality does also is a lie. That is why when you know yourself, suddenly everything is finished for you. Everything was a lie, no. Everything was a dream, everything was a lie. So the moment you wake up, whoa, what a relief. And I was unnecessarily dragging everything to myself. Now what do you do? You don't drop those things. You have dropped out. How easy it is. Do you understand the excitement of it, the beauty of it? Suppose you have to remove everything, oh, you, you, like that king will be bored. You understand that endless story? The king was crazy. He wanted to listen to a story which is never ending. Now what type of nonsense? The king himself will end, no? But the fool, what can you do? He wants to listen to a story never ending. Now who can tell a never ending story? So the storytellers after storytellers came, everybody is beheaded. The king is crazy. So one fellow came and he said, I shall come. And he said, there is a great king and he was wonderful. And in his kingdom, because he was a good man, heavy rain came, nice harvest. So the king was very smart, very con you know, conscientious. So he wanted to keep the food, grain, reserved, you know, saved, I mean, stored for the rainy days in case something happens. So, tons and tons and tons of paddy were stored in one, many, many houses, storehouses, like Food Corporation of India. So, everybody was happy. And true to the king's apprehension, there was a drought. And then, not only people suffered, animals also suffered. The ants, luckily, they found a huge granary. They found that one bag of paddy. Then the one was so hungry, he went in, took one and came out. Next, what happened? Another one went in and brought out. They were stopped. Then that king said, Then what happened? The another one went and brought one and came back. What happened then? Another one went and brought one and came back. Then what happened? Another one went and brought one and came back. Now you are already bored, right? But the king is very interested in the story, so he went on for one hour. Then he said, what, then what happened after that? He said, Maharaj, the party must be finished. <laughs> the party should be finished. The king can die. <laughs> The ants have to bring millions of tons, thousands of tons of rice now. <laughs> the king has to die, right? You want to dismiss? This is why yoga doesn't work, meditation doesn't work, teaching doesn't work. Why this discipline is what? Dismiss the world. Dismiss the world. Remove your bhasanas. Drop your thoughts. When did they make the mistake? That the creation is there is a mistake or you are there is a mistake? Not that you are there is a mistake. You are also not a mistake. But you are making everything a mistake. Because of you everything becomes a mistake. Why? You have a boundary. This is right, therefore this is wrong. If this is mine, this is somebody's. No. The moment you put boundary, trespassing begins. If this body is mine and this body is me, the rest of it is not me. So I can do whatever I want. Kill them. Atma vat sarva bhuteshu ya pasyati sa pasyati. Atma vat sarva bhuteshu vasudheiva kutumbakam. This is the tradition. Atma vat sarva bhuteshu. She is himself in and through everything. As much I am blessed, that much everybody is blessed. You may not be able to help him to discover that blessedness that he is, but don't confirm his stupidity. Don't attribute R to his ignorance, not necessary. Please see these things very clearly. So you cannot dismiss all these things. 
Well, the easy thing to drop out is yourself. Why people struggle in life? Husband, wife, brother, mother, brother, friends, friends, friends. Anywhere, when there is an argument, tell me, when there is an argument, is it a crime to drop out of an argument? Think, is it a crime to drop out an argument? No. My stand is right. It must be set. The sensible people will be driven. Okay, you are right. Chalo, move. Then what? Fight with whom? Then you will get more angry. Because there is nobody to fight with, the person gets more angry. Because he has to fight with himself now. Are you getting that? You have got a huge anger built up inside you. And there is nobody to fight with you. Because with whomsoever you are fighting, they are withdrawing. After that, what happens? Now you go through all the pressure. Not only I go with all the pressure, but also because that anger remains there. The anger doesn't go away, it remains there. By chance you see the husband again or wife again, again you want to start it. Which everybody forgets, you remember. Why? Because that is your obsession. That is why friends listen now. Forgiving does not mean forgetting. But forgetting means the word forgiving doesn't come. It's forgotten. Forgive what? A person who is happy with himself, shall he carry the load of the past? Ask yourself. A person who is happy, contented with himself, Shall he carry the burden of the past? Who you are is so magnificent. What is there to give up or to take? Everything you can accept. That is the beauty. So, Pratyaksham Api Avastutvat Vishwam Nasti Amale Tvai How nicely Bhagavan, like uh, Ashtavakura, so nicely said. Because so that the child, the student doesn't make a mistake. Mistake of dismissing everything and not being himself. It's a, it's a very, very tricky thing. Because I must be holy. For me to be holy, whatever is unholy in my perception must be given up. This is the trap. Are you getting that point? For me to be holy, whatever is to be, whatever is unholy must be removed. So that I remain holy. Hey, you are not holy. You are the holiness itself. You are the truth itself. So, Tvai Amale, where there is no dirt, no limitation of any kind, no limitations of time, place, objectivity. You are available at all times. There is no auspicious time for the consciousness to surface. There is no inauspicious time for the consciousness to dunk, dive somewhere. There is no auspicious place, a holy place for the consciousness to manifest and shine with brilliance. There is no unholy, unholy place where it is completely veiled. There is no object which can prevent its existence, cover its existence. There is no object which can create the ever-created, ever-existing awareness. That is. No limitations of time, place, objectivity. Mala, understand. Mala means limitation. Limitation means what? In the Vedantic language, in the parlance of the self-knowledge, absolute awareness, this, the, the papa limitation is not anything other than your sense of limitation. Kimte nana krutam papam chorena atma apaharena o anyatha sandam atmanam anyatha pradipadyate. Kimte nana krutam papam by him what type of papam has papam means papa limitation whatever is virtue whatever papam the word seen, I don't want to bring in, 
Papa means what limitation, whatever has been committed there by him. By whom? Chorena Atma Aparana. By this thief. Who is this thief? Atma Apahari, the Ahankar, who has as though hijacked the consciousness, hijacked the immortality. The moment you say, I, the truth, as though is hijacked, as though is hijacked. What a language, eh? You say the word I, the truth is hijacked. You put a name, the truth is sacrificed. You hold the symbol as the truth, the truth is sacrificed. It's like taking your photo as you. I worship your photo, but I hate you. How beautiful. This is the chore, thief. What crime he has not committed? Why anyatha asandam atmanam anyatha pratipadyade? So the Atma, the Self, the consciousness which is immortal appears to be mortal. It takes itself to be mortal. Anyatha asandam atmanam anyatha pratipadyade. Immortal is taken as mortal, absolute is taken as relative, all pervasive is taken, pervasive is taken as limited, all happiness, bliss is taken to be miserable. What a See change, huh? Just for the, just because of what? Who? Only one thought. I thought so when you understand this twai amale, in that way there is no limitation. This universe, pratyakshamapi avastutvat. Listen carefully. This means immediately while explaining what shall say? Pratyaksha. This universe. Uh -huh. When you say this, just let not your hand spread out. Let your mind also spread out. Even this thought, the inner universe. Ours to continuously change. Our focus is always outside. Even when you are describing how you become flower in describing. Oh, this is gold, kamini, kanchan, you understand? Gold, woman, man, dog, these things are all things. See, those wealth you are trying to dismiss, right? What about your intellectual wealth? That's so wonderful, huh? Your thoughts can destroy you. Give up the world. Thoughts don't come inside the world. Why? Prefer world means there is a heavy connotation outside. So give up the house, give up the husband, give up the wife, give up the child, give the money. But don't give up that by which you are giving up. It is why come back again and again to yourself. Pratyaksham api avastu. Pratyaksham, it is aksham prati, very directly perceived. But avastu, it is not, it is tucha, it is limited, continuously changing. Gandharva Nagaravate, Drushtanashtra Svabhava. Like the city of celestials like the clouds is continuously changing. See. What time you started from home? Morning, 9 o'clock. Now where is the day? Morning today I went for a walk. Clearly I could see the avastutva. Eh? How it is false. 4.30, 4.45, as usual, I got up for that for 4.45, come on then. I would have looked up, very nice, praise school, walked. After up to 5.30, 45 minutes, I have walked, 40 minutes, 5.15, I am coming back another one and a half kilometers from here, mm -hmm. rain started. I have not taken umbrella. <laughs> Why should I take? I have taken only the stick for the dog, but an umbrella for me, because there is no umbrella. Very true. Blast, blast, blast. I said, there is no fun standing under the tree. Because that also time will be wasted, I will also be, still will be waiting. So I started walking. Completely drenched. Okay? Think. Which one is true? The dry me or the wet me? Which one is the truth? The space, which are no rain or fully rain? What happened? Did I organize the rain? Huh. So bad, the rain is coming right now. 
What? Did I organize the rain? No. Neither you organize any incident in your life. Did you organize your birth? Did you organize whom should you meet? Think. Lucky. Nobody organizes who you are already there. Effortless. That is why when you see these things, go back to the next one. I shall come back to Raju Sarpura. Sama dukkha sukha purnam asa nairasya yoho sama. You read it many times. How many times you see it and leave it? Sukhe sama dukkha sukha. Same. The mind doesn't even flicker. Yatha deepa nivatastha nengate sopamasmuta. Nivatastha deepa pata na ingate. Like a flame which is protected from all sides, how it never shakes. There is no shaking. That is the mind of the wise. Unshakable. Dukheshu anudvignamana. Sukheshu bigata spruha. Bita raga bhaya krodha stita dhiri moniruchya. Stita prakya, wise man. Dukheshu anudvignamana. Rain will come. No anxiety. Summer will come. Let the spring and summer continue. Ha! People will be, some people will be a great blessing like a summer or a spring. But a scorching summer is not a blessing either. Some people like a rain, but a deluge is not a blessing either. But it will come. As when you do not invite the sun and the rain and the other things, these also you do not invite, they come in. And please understand friends, whenever they come in, Whenever a person comes into your life, why they cross your path, you never know. But whenever they come into your life, how do they come? Do they come to be a blessing? Of course. Unless you are a thief, you are planning. That is when your individual plan comes up. I want to take over the business. I want to be the managing director. That is how you start. Or the fellow is going in the train with a plan. Biscuit, coffee, everything, drugged. <laughs> with a plan he is going. So his smile also is motivating, motivated. Everything. Because his plan is to destroy. Only human being can go crazy about that. Even if a situation like that also happens, what do you do? All right, somebody can snatch few things, but nobody can snatch you. Vinasam abhyasa asya nakaschit kartumahati. Asya abhyasa vinasa, nobody can destroy this indestructible. You are that absolute. So sukham dukham will come. Why? So sukha 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 sukha. Purnam, you are complete. So where is your focus? In the Purnam, Purnatu, in the fullness or in Sukadukam? Ask yourself. Ask yourself the question. Because the eyes are always open. So the eyes are always see shade and light. Light and shade. It doesn't see the space. In the space, the light and shadow is playing. But the space is there. See? You are looking at somebody's life. What do you see? What he did, what he did not do. What thoughts he brought in, what thoughts he did not bring. What yourself? Are you seeing Purnatvam, the fullness or the relative convenience, inconvenience? Not that you should not see relative, you should see. 
but do not lose sight of the purnatvam because only with the fullness even the inconvenience is a blessing why pass no think friends without hunger can you enjoy the food huh can you enjoy the food without the darkness can you enjoy the starry night starry sky life whatever comes in life it has a meaning depends how you take it that is why there is no resistance na heyam anupadaya it will come asa nairashya yo sama both between hope and despair asa nairashya hope and despair situation which looks hopeful everybody likes it if there is a desperation finish you gave me hope you promised me that is why you cannot promise happiness to people are you getting that point please <laughs> do not promise something which already belongs to the other person can i promise you something your house can i promise it to you what type of stupidity is that your house is already your house what can i give it to you is all your house it's like the minister is taking credit for the opening the bridge who spent the money his father's money his own hard earned money who who who, who built the tax payer money public gave who built it public servant right but the minister the person comes and says that oh is open man what a great thing to give things that is yours what credit can i take because you give somebody hope that is the brother feels hopeless or the other person assumes that this will come to me so you build your dream and you feel frustrated because your dream is shattered nobody gave you that dream understand the real teaching is so beautiful friends when the student is ready forget student one who deserves you cannot stop him from getting it and one who doesn't deserve it you can never give it to him that is why beautifully that tradition comes in upanishads so that upanishad statement is what vibhrunute tanam swa yame vesha vibhrunute yam eva esa vibhrunute to whom the truth chooses the truth reveals in a sense when you are ready is already there you see it for yourself you build up your hope i'm going to get it from the book i'm going to get it from the teacher i'm going to get it from somebody no that is why the teacher is the right teacher what he does he as though prepares as though as though as though as though giving it ultimately you receive it when you receive it you could not have asked why didn't you tell me in the first class that i am the truth you are taking a whole tattu over to be finished all these books to be over to tell me i am the brahman i am the absolute but the first day when i said sir i am so much in trouble maharaj are oh god ek you know krishna 17 chapters why it is arjuna when he says cried you are the brahman stand up and fight Why didn't he do that, Brahman? Stand up, fight. See, friends. First class, why didn't you tell? So much of time is wasted. Now you know the time is wasted because you understand it. When you don't understand it, the time hangs on.
please. That is, there is no hurry. This truth cannot be taken away from somebody, cannot be kept away from somebody who deserves it. And you cannot give it to somebody who is not prepared. That is the trouble. So, the person who feels that he is ready for it and he dreams, he feels shattered. Asa nairasya ho sama. So, once you are happy with yourself, then this relative asa nirasa. What is that? I expected good weather, the weather has changed. I expected a particular weather from a particular person, that person has completely changed. TK. That is how he is, that is how she is, that is how everything is. You don't feel shattered. You're nothing and shatter you. Are you getting that point, please? You must see that. Nothing in this universe can shatter you. Vinasama Besasya Nakaschit Kartu Marati. What can they take away? The flood can take away your entire harvest. You are there to make it again. All your property, everything is gone. Whatever they are trying to do, your good name, bad name, eh? your books, your whatever, somebody is trying to take it away. Property, write it down. Yeah, ultimately, I am there. Nobody can challenge your being who you are. Your thoughts can be challenged. And that's why if you have got your security with your thoughts, you feel challenged. With your body, you feel challenged. With yourself, asa, nairasya, some meaning thereby, there shall be situations which shall be very hopeful. There shall be also situations which will be appearing desperate, a total despair. It can happen. Or it's why Bhagavan will again and again say, Sukhez, Dukhez, Anudvignamana, Sukhez, Uvigatasprav, Dukhez, Anudvignamana. There shall be Dukha, but there is no anxiety. There shall be Sukha, meaning comfortable situations, but no Spruha, no struggle, but let it continue. Everything as it is beautiful because you are beautiful. Sama jivita mrityushan eva meva rayam braja. Sama jivita mrityu. See the ultimate he comes in now. Sama jivita mrityu. Whether you are going to be alive or dead. Sama. Why? Immortality does not live, doesn't die. If you are alive, you shall be dead. If you are born, you will be dead. Birthless, deathless. Ajonitya Sashwate. Therefore, not only physical body, situations born come to an end. Marriage begins. Enjoy it. Divorce begins. Suffer it. Child is born. Enjoy it. Child is drugged, drug addict, destroyed, failure, suffering. Job got wonderful. Job is gone, finished. So, when you are getting it, if you are not, it's not adding something to you, when it is going, it will not take away something from you. Simple principle. Are you getting that point, please? If you feel something is added to your life because of the arrival of something, you shall feel deprived when that something goes away. Why people uh, resist? With the job, I was getting money. Without the job, money is gone. Therefore, angry. Not because job is gone, money is not coming. With this particular relationship, I was getting this. Now that the relationship is gone, I will not get this. Therefore, angry. But suppose you are happy to get it. You are happy when it is not there. Happy to be alive with this body. Now the body has to go. Yes, it has to go. It has to go because you enjoy life as it is. Well, because you are beautiful. One day, the king had heard about Mullah. Eh? He was very smart, no? So, king had heard of him. 
He said, but everybody says he is a great, wise philosopher, but he is illiterate. So king wanted to find out whether the fellow can really write or not write. So the king called him and he said, Mula, you are such a respectable person. We want to see you writing. Mula said, but Maharaj, O oh Emperor, I have already taken an oath never to write a word again. I only speak. I will never write a word again. Then he says, then what about your writings you had already done? Can we have some sample of what you had written already? He said, that also is not right. Because as in time, and he said, why don't you write something? He said, now you cannot write because already I have taken an oath not to write. So what about your last writings? He says, that will not be the truth. Because in time, everybody's handwriting changes. So that will not be the True my handwriting is somebody's handwriting because I am not writing. Somebody, ten years back, it's not my writing. Then the king said, okay, is there anybody who has his writing, bring it. And somebody brought one piece of paper. And this is just yuck, you know, scribbling like that. Nobody could read nothing. It's like a doctor's prescription. Eh? So, the... He said, this is your writing? He said, no, Maharaj, this is not my writing. But who has written it? He said, no. Writing means what? Sometimes you write. Sometimes also you write to let people know how they should not write. This was one of those. <laughs> so this is not my handwriting. This was the sample for them to know how a person should not write. Now imagine. You pass through every situation in life. You can write. You need not write. You can write whatever you like. This is enjoying living. Being yourself who you are. Asa, nirasa, hope, despair. Sama sukha dukha kshami. Mitrari pakshayo tulya. Now there is a person who is very friendly. Now the person is enemy number one. The person, you are not. Understand the difference? You have an enemy. You are an enemy. Is there not a difference? There is not a difference. You have a friend and you are a friend. Listen carefully. Me being who I am, and friendly with everybody, enemy with none. Why consciousness is in and through everything, rejects nothing. Principle. Are you getting that? Consciousness, all pervasive. Can it afford to reject anything? Can it afford to what? Can it? Can infinity reject? Can God reject? Nor can he accept. Why? He is everything. Friendly or enemical. Simple. Good or bad. If I do start to you, if you are friendly, if you are a nice person, nice, thank you. Why? Hey, don't. Why are you? Ah, that's right. Asana <laughs> Rasiti. Evam Gantva. Sama jivita mrityusan, eva meva layam braja, completely resolved. Whom? Yourself. You are. And you are in, in, that is why in deep sleep, it is known as the laya. Deep sleep also known as the laya. But that is not wisdom because there is no awareness. There is samadhi, that is andha samadhi. You are with yourself, but you don't know. When you are awake and resolving means not dismissing the creation, perception, thoughts, but the I. We are sitting down there to pass judgment. This is there, this is not there, why it is coming. So, shall we be the meditator or a meditation? 
ಹೇಗೆ ವಿಧಿ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ವೈ ರಜ್ಜು ಸರ್ಪ ಇವ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಂ ಏವಮೇವ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಸೊ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಅವಸ್ತುತ್ವ ಅದು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಅವಸ್ತು ಯು ಖಾಂಟ್ ಪಿನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಖಾಂಟ್ ಸೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಿಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ ವೈ ಆಮ್ ಐ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಲೆಸ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಡಿಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಐಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಗ್ಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆರ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಡಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದಿ ಥಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬಗ್ಸ್ ಯು If there is no thought, can you get bugs? There are seven billion people. How many people are bugging you? Three, four people are your wife, your husband, your son, your daughter, one or two friends, five, six people. Depending on the positions you are occupying. That way, if you are not a capable person but you are occupying bigger position, then you are unnecessarily dragging many people into your lives which you cannot handle. That is where people get depressed. professional stress doubt who gets stressed doubt the person cannot handle you are getting a person who cannot handle one situation if you are asking to handle 100 situation what will happen to him a person who can't handle his one husband or wife or a child or a friend one or two people you are asking to handle 100 people in office what will happen the person who cannot handle one thought you are asking into 100000 thoughts ask yourself one thought you cannot handle and what is that i thought don't say i can't handle my son's thought my daughter's thought my brother's thought that man's thought this woman's thought hey, shut up that's not right when you say you cannot handle some thought what it means is you are incapable not the thought are you getting that especially at thought level please at thought level nobody can touch you body level everybody can hurt you even including an ant mm-hmm. other day i went to mugambi gano yesterday i was there i was lying down on my bed suddenly i felt so many things something is crawling i i lived that bed sit literally hundreds of ants hundreds and when i was taking it away i told that boy i said what is this he said you lucky you saw suppose one would have wronged your ear i said yes that's what i'm talking one ant can make your life miserable inside the ear what do you do atte atte you know atte aye yo in mukami a lot of atte that is joker leeches small ones as you are walking they jump into your neck become so big with bloody thing and you won't know anything any little thing outside can destroy you thought unless you allow no thought can happen somebody can push a thought push a thought somebody say hey you come here that statement you have to listen and that statement will be there you should be that I, i thought will go but how you react to thought depends on who the person the thought or you right take the responsibility even if it pratyaksha avastu why it was not it will not be adyantavanta kaunteya it has no beginning it is no and it is not there it will not be there mandukya sulti tells very nicely adavantu jayan nasti vartamana vi tattatha adau yad nasti ante yad nasti that which was not in the beginning which will not be at the end even while existing it is not there meaning there is clay there is no pot in the clay in the clay is there any pot now you see the pot and the pot is broken again in the clay is there any pot no in the beginning there was no pot at the end there is no pot so even when you are seeing the pot there is no pot it is clay appearing to the pot are you getting that point ಅದೂ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಅಂತೆ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವ
Therefore, even when it is appearing, it is as well non-existent because continuously fading away. Continuously disappearing. You cannot feel it. It is becoming older or no? One day it will break. You can't see it. You can see. Buddhi grahayam atindriyam. Sense organs cannot see it. Buddhi can grasp it. Same thing, body, creation, everything. Adho nasti. It was not. It will not be. Even when you are seeing it, it doesn't exist. Appearances. Take it. With that strength. That is why asa, anara, sukham, dukham. Sukham, dukham means what? All pairs of opposites. Pua papam, punyam, rag, name raga, dvesho, name rova moho. Madho naiva, me naiva, mascheria bhava, raga, dvesha, mada, moha, mascheria. None of these things. Na dharmona, arthona, kamona, moksha. Dharma, artha, kam, moksha, nothing. Chidananda, rova, shiro, shiro. Layam, raja. Having seen it, complete. Resolution, then condemn. Everything is there. Okay, let's deal with it. I'm absolutely immortal, ever existing. Body, be taken care of. Hunger, taken care of. Things, taken care of. How much? As much as I taken care of myself and also for others. That is why your compassion, kindness becomes enormous. Acceptance of everything as it is. Okay? Evam layam So, this laya is for yourself. Not resolving the creation, body, thought, anything. Okay? So this is over. Now, number part six, 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 chapter 6, you read one or two verses. Yeah, we'll see that. Again, now the, it's not Ashtavagra was, now this is Ashtavagrita, now this is not, now this student is not telling. Now this student is not talking. Because, this is like, it's like a competition. Eh? Subtlety, subtlety, subtlety. Never ending. That is why you can enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Because when somebody says, Evam Tattva Laya Braja, you know, or there is such a beautiful creation. What creation? Which creation we are talking about? Pratyakshama Piyavastu. Even if you see it, it is not there. Huh? That is also true. So resolve everything. But why should I resolve everything? Only one thing is the one which makes everything real. I, that only reason. Yeah, that is also true. Then, now the student goes one step more. Read. Akasa badanantoham Ghatavatrakrutam jagate Iti jnanam tathaitasya Yago Nagraho Laya Mao the Diriva Hamsa Panjo Vichisan Niva Itigyanam Tateta Shem Natyago Nagraho Laya This is Chapter Six. I think there are also some only four, five, four verses. Or, um, yes, only four verses. Very beautiful. Very interesting. Amazing conversation between a teacher and student in a sense. And both are wise now. That is why it makes it so beautiful. Or else, uh, you uh, tell the line, then the student cries, you are really right, but uh, uh, well, it's not like that. It's not, <laughs> it's not that the teacher, <laughs> teacher is telling you are absolute. You say you are absolute, but uh, I don't see, like Arjuna, no? You are talking about, but I don't see all these things. Yeah, uh, all right, do this, do this, do this. But here is not like that. Here is, teacher is wonderful, the student also is wonderful. He has taken one grip, understood it. He doesn't need cartload. Okay? Now, so beautiful. Janaka now talking. You are telling, Layam Braja, Eva Meva, Layam Braja. Okay, not that it is respecting the teacher. So, Layam Braja. So, then what do you do? Layam Braja. Once being with himself, 
Now he brings out another dimension. Why is it so? Is it an extra dimension? No, infinity dimensions. You can have any type of interpretation there. Are you getting that point? It's so beautiful. That is why there is no person who is the last word. Infinite dimensions. You can see from any sides. That is why the more and more you meditate, in a sense, being with yourself, more and more you are with yourself, what all the ideas will spark? God only knows. Anything you see, it has a touch of the reality. From the worst of disasters, you can see the greatest of the blessing. In the so-called greatest of the convenience, you can also see the potential for disaster. Both are there, no? What is the distance between mortality and immortality? What is the distance between infinity and finite? To lose sight, finite. C is infinity. The moment you see finite, hayo, infinite implications. What a headache. Just think, you, for a moment you forget who you are. The trouble is once you know you cannot forget. That is the trouble. It is the beauty of this knowledge. Not a trouble, what a relief. Think. Abba. From childhood onwards, what all things have happened? If you understand the reality, the truth for yourself, what shall you say? Everything was worth it. You are a very poor student. So poor student means from a poor family, working, working family. I mean, parents cannot provide. You do uh, sit under the uh, electric light, electric post and read. One bedroom, uh, one, not bedroom, one room which is uh, alternates are the kitchen, drawing, sleeping, study, everything. At the end of the day, like that uh, Bombay girl becomes a chartered accountant, first in India. I you get an auto rickshaw driver, the son is an IAS officer. When he becomes, what shall he say? Everything was worth it. Why? Had it not been so today, I won't be the IAS, I won't be the and I won't be something. No step must change. Only idiots complain. Eh? Because of poverty, like, he was also in poverty. How come he did it? When you know the truth for yourself, everything is a blessing. My father is a blessing, my mother is a blessing, my village is a blessing, my school is a blessing, my college is a blessing, the people are a blessing, whoever came across also is a blessing. Everything is a blessing. Why? What else? I am blessed. Everything is nice. Everybody is nice. But that fellow, uh, no, don't say. Everybody is wonderful. Everything that happened also is wonderful. Everything that is happening also is wonderful. Oh, but there's a big train accident. What to do? Supposed to be in that? What to do? It's not that so acceptance, you are not doing anything. No, you shall do whatever you want to do to face a situation, to tackle a situation. But never desperate. Imagine one is drowning and therefore trying to save himself. Other is very safe feeling, but he knows and there is, at this moment he is drowning. Without a desperation he try to save himself. That element of desperation goes from, this is very subtle, are you getting that? That element of desperation goes away because you are absolutely happy with yourself. It's like the person who becomes suddenly a millionaire because he has got a big lottery or he got an IAS or IPS, I don't know, whatever, some big good job or something, top job, he got something somewhere. Then what happens? Just by getting that job, suddenly overnight it has not changed. That the same old house is old house, there is no one bedroom, is drawing room and all, everything, everything. But now there is an idea. I will not suffer anymore. How it is? The money has not come to your account. The job has not yet given you the security. But now you are very comfortable. Why? Happily moving in the same little house. Because you know, temporary. Any day things will change. 
in yourself, when you understand yourself who you are, permanently things have changed. Because who you are is unchangeable, changeless, absolute. What you have, those things will change anyway. Take it. Therefore, when the student receives it, it gives you another dimension. Because infinite dimensions are there. You sit down and think, be happy with yourself, you shall see, you will have the strength, enormous strength to face every situation in life, anything that comes in life. Survive. How many papers you are reading? Today, I saw that in London, it has happened. One child committed suicide because somebody has written something on a Facebook or in a Twitter or something somewhere. Everybody is hounding. So the fellow committed suicide. Now, if it commits suicide, what shall you say? He should not have done it, gave up. How many people stood up for the child that time to say, you don't have to worry? Neither the child could stood up, and neither the child could stand up. Suppose he survives it all, what shall he say? He's brazening it out. The same world will tell. This fellow, you know, see how he is so arrogant? If he kills himself, he is a defeatist. If he survives, he is being arrogant. You understand how much this society helps you? Nobody helps you. Only one person can help you, that is yourself. And God, truth, call it God, call it truth, call it absolute, always with you. You are it. There is no difference. Therefore, now he brings his standpoint. Akasabad anandoham. Vabbo. He is not a, uh, you told me, uh, even layam bhaja, but so difficult to layam bhaja. Not that variety, huh? <laughs> you know, but how do I get like I am getting so much distractions here and there. Okay, go and hang yourself and I will see something. Not that right. And the teacher is even my lawyer brother, he says, with your grace, I learned it. Akasavad ananto, aham akasavad ananta. Like space, I am endless, all pervasive. Ghatavad Prakritam Jagat, this Jagat, Jayate Gachadit Ishtadiva, which is continuously born, moving, changing, existing as though for a second. Are you getting that? The creation is continuously changing. Are you really feeling it? The world you saw is no more, you are seeing. Last moment's creation is not this moment's creation. We are aging. Every second, everything is changing. Jagat. Ghatavad Prakrutam. Beautiful example the student gives. That is why when you are open, always reveling in yourself without interference of unnecessary speculations and thoughts, burdened by the projections, overwhelmed by desperations, unhurt by the memories, you know, open sky of the consciousness. What possibilities are there? Infinity possibilities. Thoughts, you won't know where from they come. Examples, the student himself is giving. Akasavat ananto, like space are all pervasive. This creation is like ghatavat, like a pot, prakruta. Prakruti, because of the prakruti, because of the maya, creation, you know, ignorance or whatever, appearance to be. What is this Mahakasa, the space all over, endless, and Ghatakasa, like a Ghata. Ghata means a pot. That is a Prakrit and Jagat. Iti Jnatam. Etan Maya Jnatam. Iti Maya Jnatam. I know this. Where is consciousness? All over. Purusha Yevedagam Sarvam. Yad bhutam yad chabhyam utam rutatva sesana. What is that? Anyway. Purushayeva idagam sarva. Matyat is chadda sangulam. Purushayeva idagam sarva. Purnatva purusha. That which is fills up the entire universe. You want to give it a name? Purusha. Purusha is not man, woman, three. You know, not Purusha, three. Purnatva purusha. Full and complete. Everybody is that. Having pervaded the whole universe, atyatishthata sangulam, still ten angulas left out, meaning that creation is existing a little bit. When you look at Krishna's uttariya, you know that in 
chariot. Krishna is turning the chariot. His uh, Uttariya is fluttering. Some people very beautifully say, Paramatma himself sitting down. This fluttering of the upper cloth is the universe fluttering. What is left out? What is fluttering? Time. Iti jnatam etasya for me. What is this world I want to give up? Na tyago na laya. There is nothing to renounce, there is nothing to resolve. Renounce for what? What is there to be renounced? And what is there to resolve? Let everything is. Let everything be. As long as I was interfering, I wanted to give up. Are you getting that point, please? So, who is the mischief maker? The creation is a curse. The creation is a blessing. The body is a curse or a blessing. Nothing. No asana, no irasya. No hope, no despair. No dream, no nightmare. It is as it is. That's what. No graha, no laya. There's nothing to accept. Nothing to reject. So, they are telling me, laya, braja, what am I to resolve? And the moment I say resolve, so okay, I don't want to resolve. So, you should accept it. What is there to accept? Who is there to accept? Do not be frivolous with this bhakya, understand. The trouble with people is they take these statements and say, who is that? You have no business to talk about it unless you really appreciate who you are. Or else it will be the arrogance of the ego. The I thought you try to Impress others or take a shelter under a statement. What is there to give up? What is there to think? Uh -huh. It's not a statement to be shouted at. It's not a statement to be bandied about. A statement to impress somebody. In you, you see. What is to give up? What is to accept? Who is to give up? Who is to accept? Stay. Always what it is. That is why there will be a continuous smile in your face. Why? Some people are trying to renounce, some people are trying to indulge. Both are comical. One who is looking for happiness is as pathetic as even who is trying to run away from the unhappiness. Call it pathetic, call it comical, call it whichever language you like, whichever language. But not a sense of superiority. See lads, fellows, still running. At one time, did you run or no? Remember your past. Because you have a car now, uh, at one time, what is the Nataraja service you are having? Nataraja service, right? Nataraja. Nataraja. Yeah. I have told you, this knowledge is so beautiful. There is no pride. There's where you are, one day the ignorant will be. Where the ignorant is, there you are. You should be the hope of the ignorant, not its despair. A successful person must be the hope of the failure, not his despair. Oh, he could do it, I cannot do it. Ha! A wise person should be everybody's hope. As much I can understand, that much you can understand. Because who I am is who you are. Not that giving reasons as to why he should not understand. You are, you are touching garlic. 
you are looking at this, you didn't do this puja, you are not a, uh, you know, to go around the world, it's all nonsense, conditions, conditions, conditions. You give them hope or the despair. Huh. To me, for me to be me, what conditions apply? For me to be somebody, conditions apply. Right or wrong? For me to be me, what conditions apply? I am now 62 kilos. To me, for me to be 62 kilos, what conditions apply? Take a gross example. Still more grosser. Me, five acres of land. For me to be the owner of the five acres of land, what conditions apply? Nothing. Seven acres, purchase. Three acres, give up. Graha, I am 62. 62. 65. Add 50, no, lose. Conditions apply. Thoughts as it is. More thoughts to bring in? Gather. Bring it? Give up. Try to for try to forget headache. <laughs> that is a conditions now. You try to forget something or add something. No. Okay. At least there also conditions apply. To be consciousness. Consciousness is not a changing condition. The changeless being who you are. So what conditions apply? Nagraha. Mahodadhi riva hamsa prapancho vichisanniva. Aham mahodadhi riva. I am like a mighty ocean. Maha udadhi. I am like a mighty ocean of consciousness. Whoa. What a difference when the student, student goes there and says, Bhitam Brapannam Paripai Mrityo Vivekchadamani student, eh? Saranyam Anyat Pradham Najane. I don't know. Durvara Sansara Davagni Taptam. Oh, Dudhu, I am roasted in this forest fire of Sansara. Dudhu Yamanam Duradrushtavati, shaken by the wind of the unknown. He, and the same fellow, having understood, now what is talking? Mahodadhi rivaham. <laughs> Ahamsa. I am that. What? Mahodadhi riva. I am like mighty ocean of consciousness. Sap prapancha ha bichisan niva. That, you see that, how is it? That world. Sap prapancha. That prapancha. Prapancha means pancha 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 idi prapancha. Pancha mahabhuta. Pancha Gyanandriyani, Pancha Karmendriyani, Pancha Prana, Ella Pancha Pancha Pancha. Okay? Sara Pancha. Pancha Loga, Panchayat, Panchayat, you know, some nonsense, okay? Simply. Okay. Suppose, so Pancha Pancha Pancha, five, everything, five, 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 five security member, security council member. You want to make it ridiculous, right? That's what it is. Anyway, Pancha Pancha Pancha, meaning? Pancha Mahabhuta, everything five by five. Prapancha. So for that world, that world, huh? no more he says, I am the part of the world. That world, in which body is also gone. Thoughts are also into that. Prapancha, sub prapancha, that one. Which is a niva. They are like waves. I am the mighty ocean in me. These waves of creation rising and falling every second. Iti jnanam. This is my knowledge. Edasya na graho na laya. What is there to give up? What is there to resolve? Just be the ocean of consciousness. Close your eyes. It's amazing, friends. There is nothing to resolve which is not already resolved, only the I, the individuality. That also is already resolved, they recognize. When you have to say the word I to be, consciousness everywhere.
Thank you. Thank you.